Third place, Rock, uh, Rocky Mountain ATV MC WPS KTM's Blake Baggett. Second place, Monster Engine Kawasaki's Eli Tomac. And the big winner, last race in the Georgia Dome, Red Bull KTM's Ryan Dungey. Blake, third place, podium, got a heat race win. Um, eight rounds in, there was a lot of talk preseason about your speed, but uh, you put it together tonight. What was the difference tonight? I don't know if I have that answer, but uh, you know, speed doesn't do you any good if you're crashing or a bad start. So I guess it would have to do with uh, good starts, kept it on two wheels and felt comfortable all night. Track uh, was pretty much like we practiced on in Florida. Dirt was awesome. Just each week gets better and better, feeling on the bike and comfortable with the team, and we're just plugging away. Congratulations on that podium. Very good for you and your team. Eli Tomac, the charge was real. You were about ninth place. You just kept coming. The sand got you in the face. We saw you pull the tear off on the super slow-mo, but uh, tell us about coming through the field. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, you know tough night, um, not getting out of the heat race, obviously where we wanted to be, and then uh, you know you know even getting second place in the semi. So um, you know went to the main event, did what we could. Um, you know didn't get the greatest to start, but no excuses there. Um, just just got beat tonight, and uh, it was it, it was a it was a tough track, but you know with the sand with the wall, um, we were down to the to the concrete again. So. Uh, you know, and even the whoops themselves. The whoops were one of the toughest, uh, most technical sets we've had all year. You know, when you walk the track, they they didn't look, or when we did walk the track, they didn't look huge. But uh, the way the clay was and the way the spacing was, it ended up being uh, really tough. So um, tough track for sure. Congratulations, Ryan Dungey, a big victory. Uh, your points lead now is 25, and you get the heat race win. You get the whole shot. If they call it points race, and you got them all. And I just wanted to say, it looks like your uh, your riding tonight looked like it was more comfortable. Did you guys find anything on the bike this week? Yeah, I mean, I mean, little things, little bits and pieces. Um, nothing crazy. Um, it was actually a good, good. Got back to Florida, kind of my first full week, kind of where I got to kind of chill out. So it was nice, you know, and it always helps and. I got to ride with the guys at the track, and um, it was nice. Things kind of slowed down a little bit for a change, and then, um, but tonight, w the changes that we made during the week really related to tonight and benefited us. You know, that was nice, but it uh, doesn't always happen like that. But like Eli said, the track was, was gone. I mean, it was like he said last, last week, and it was like survival, and, and it was pretty nasty and rough, and, and um, it was nice to get out front and, 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 and break op open a little bit of a gap, and then I seen where Eli was and just tried to manage it and uh, hit my marks and um, and get a win so it was nice congratulations we'll open up the floor to questions please Steve Guyberson with Vital MX um, any of you guys can answer it but in your wish list for future tracks is a wall jump followed by a sand section gonna be on the list <laughs> yeah that was pretty nasty yeah I, uh, <laughs> I don't uh, that was just ridiculous you know I, even the wall jumps themselves I think with the time to vent <clears throat> time to vince now there's really no reason for him i mean you know why why are we getting slowed down and, and i mean a wall it's it's a wall i think uh about every rider would say they they don't like yeah. him at all and um the the sand too i mean the sand's cool but after the with the wall there it was I don't want to don't want to sound like a whiner, but it was it was kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, it would have been it would have been better if we were doubling into the sand. I mean, you you seen a guy roll over the top, and it's like you lapper, you just you, a lapper, you know, he don't know, and you're just you trying to. Him? I couldn't even see when half the time I went over that thing, and there was somebody in front of you. <laughs> Dude, it was like outdoors. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> Still got sand Dude, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see. <laughs> when it does get down to the concrete, is there anything you guys can do to adjust or or yeah. do you do you just find edges to or move around? Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. I mean, there was a crop coming across the mechanics and do that left-hand turn, and I never changed my line because there was no rut to, to sit in, so I just kept taking the line. Ta I could feel my tire spinning, but once I got through it, there were some shallow spots out there for sure, but that, that's how it is, you know, and there's not, no, you know, 
there's no down, you know, the, the 18 laps the 250s do. We're doing uh, 24, I think, did we? 20. Anyway, so it's just a lot. You know, if you take if you take 20 more riders and every every lap is times 20, that's 20 more passes. So like last week, that was 26 laps. That's 120 more passes, um, just us. And then now you 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 know they had 19 laps the 250s. That's another 100 passes. You know, so so things just you know, the tracks are breaking down a lot. And I feel like we need more time to, to do a little more fixing. You know, I mean, we, we were going through the whoops and we're skimming them all day and then we're jumping them at the end. And it's just, there's not enough time to, to, to do any work. And uh, yeah, the tracks are, it's nasty. I mean, it, it really is, but it's racing. Uh, Jason Wygant, at Racer X. Have you had to almost change the way you ride because the tracks are breaking down? Like, has it almost changed the way you manage the last few laps of a race? Um, a little bit. I mean, it's not so uh, get out front and try to find a smooth line. Sometimes, you, you know, like the first few races, I'm searching for a smooth line. There's, there's not one. And I kind of learned a little last week, you know, being behind Eli, it's like, you know, the guy, whatever line he's in, he just mashes it. It don't matter. Quit looking for a smooth line because there's not one, you know. So just get out and, and wherever you're at, try to. And I searched around a little bit. I think we all do trying to find the best line. And sometimes you don't find the best line. So, But at least you, you know what you're going into. And you just, yeah, you, you, you uh, really trying to hunker down and go, you know, even if it's rough. Chase Yokomoto X Addicts. Uh, Ryan, uh, it's been a little while since you had a win uh, this season. Um, yeah. Eli's had some pretty good momentum going the last, uh, I believe, three of four. How important was it for you? We're right around the halfway mark to uh, kind of halt his momentum and uh, get another win. Yeah, I mean, these guys are going good. I mean, it, all year it's it's been, especially uh, um, then Marvin gets a win there. And, and, you know, the intensity's there. Everybody's like, I mean, if you look at the lap times, Eli's had us good on the, on the practice times by a little here and there but I mean it's tense separating all of us you know so the tracks are really relatively uh, basic um, and not necessarily a bad thing it just it makes for close racing so it's really hard to get that breakaway and yeah I mean you have a tough go here and there and, and thankfully it wasn't uh, you know we got a bad start in Dallas and we, we got fourth still so it wasn't like they were disastrous races they're just a little bit off the front and um, the th a couple things, you know, just you, you try to adjust, you try to, you know, these guys, you know, almost better you. You know, you can't look at them as uh, um, bad, thing. you know, they're, they're, they're competitors, but they challenge you to be better. So it's uh, try to take it in a positive and a, a positive feedback. But last week was tough to accept, but it's like, what am I going to do? You know, is it, you're either going to go forward and move forward and make give it your best, or you're going to, you know, sit and have a pity party. So we choose to move forward. <clears throat> Uh, for Blake, Chris and Slack, sorry, motocross performance. Uh, it's been it's been a little while since we've seen you up on the podium. What does this this do for you and kind of your mental state and uh, mindset going into further rounds? Because we know we we've seen you have the speed and we see you back up on the podium. Congratulations. Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been a while. We've uh, rode past the podium a lot recently <laughs> for quite a while now. So it's really good to actually get back up there. And each weekend just keeps keeps getting better and better, feeling more comfortable on the bike, and uh, have been able to put lap times together um, up there, finally on the board. Most of the time, I never even dreamed of hitting the board. So up on the board during practice, and then making it through heat races, actually getting to you know race Ryan Dungey and, and Eli, and getting up there. And to get a good start tonight and be up on the podium is definitely something to build off of. And you know, just enjoying myself and the team and trying to be better each weekend. Uh, yeah, Blake, Chase Yokomoto X Addicts. Uh, for not too many people get up on the 450 podium. Uh, it's pretty special. Um, you know, a lot of people claim you to be an outdoor specialist. Uh, do you have anything to say uh, to them after this podium? I felt pretty comfy in the sand section. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, it's definitely, uh, it was good. So this year I've been definitely a lot better Supercross guy before I, I didn't even care for the Supercross series and now I actually like it I've uh, been really good in the whoops that's been my strong point for some reason even though I got no legs so uh, been good there but each weekend has just been a go trail follow the leader through them by the end of the night so skimming them does you no good but yeah definitely feeling more comfortable and ready for next weekend uh, sir Blake talk about your team I know they've never actually gotten a podium on this at this level and I think that's something they've thought about they realized that like that was a goal for you or Davey to get it this year so what was the reaction like when you finally got up there for them 
Forrest might have put out a tear or two. So. <laughs> he acts like a tough guy, but he's just a big teddy bear. <laughs> um, he's got a soft side for me. Did you notice Anderson was getting close there at the end? Did, did you battle him on the last lap? I think he made a mistake. Did he get to you? Did you know he was there? I, I could feel him. I could feel the 21. He was coming, and I was holding my breath, trying not to make mistakes. And no, definitely, you know, we battled all through amateurs, just like me and Eli battled. So I knew he was coming, and I was just uh, trying to hit my marks and not make mistakes. And he uh, he went for it, just like I would have. So he went for it and, and slid out. But definitely, uh, when he did that, uh, I had a sigh of relief for the last two sections. <laughs> yeah, Blake, he pulled up next to you after the finish line. And uh, what, what do you have to say there? Normally, we're screaming at each other, or it's not very <laughs> nice words. So it was actually different for a change, you know. Uh, he races tough, and if you're, uh, if you're in his way, he's not scared to just blast you and, uh, and take himself down with you. So it was, it was cool that, uh, you know, he went for it, didn't make it happen. And afterwards, you know, he said, good job and congratulations. And that's what, you know, true racers do. And, you know, I, I like to race the guy. Sometimes it gets dirty, but it's all fun and games. Right on. Well, gentlemen, there's a lot of history in this build -em building. You've uh, put in the last 450 main event in the Georgia Dome. Congratulations on your finishes and good luck in Toronto. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right. <clears throat>